A really big part of base defense is using turrets, using the correct ones, and equipping them correctly. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Today I'm going to show you how to equip a few different turrets in your base. I use all of these ones, there may be another other couple of turrets that are released later on that I obviously haven't used yet. So you aren't going to be able to copy every single turret design from here and have it work for you all the time, and there may even be other turrets in the game I'm not using that other high level players are and that work fairly well. I'm going to, my intent in this video is to show you turret designs so you can start using them and if they're slightly better than what you're currently using or you have no idea where to start. But more importantly, you can understand the concepts behind this thing so that you yourself can build and design new turrets when they actually come out and you have an understanding of the game yourself. Let's go ahead and before I show you any turret designs, talk about my layout right here. Now obviously you're not going to use your turrets in this spot in your base, you're going to put them up in some other position. Many of these long range turrets you're going to put on your outpost island right here far away so they can shoot enemies. Other turrets are more utility based, those are the water turrets right here. And then other turrets like Decimator primarily is a very short range turret you're going to have on your channel so attackers can run into. You will notice I have two warehouses on either side here. You have, each of these has equipped with them an ECM blast right here, which is EP, e, EMP blast right here, which is used to stun enemy ships, as well as fire support too. Fire support to increases damage of your nearby turrets, which is fantastic, and does even more on your outpost. Keep in mind, I am also Ballistic Faction right now, Forsaken, so all my Ballistic turrets are dealing 20% more damage. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you'll notice that all of these turrets do have transformers on them, except for this one, but we'll come to back, back to that one at the end. That's called a foreshadowing. On these turrets right here, I have the water turret. This means you can put them anywhere in your base and it's easier, you can put them on land too. And if you are just putting it on for the first time, you often have to refresh, the game doesn't like it very much. But you have more choices of where to put these and these turrets are all utility turrets, but we will talk about that. Keep in mind that if you are using the water transformer, your damage will be reduced by 20%. There are other transformers you can use, basically the only other good one for your normal turret is the, is the attack transformer which will increase your damage by 20%. The first one I will talk about is the far side turret right here. This has a very, very long range with a firing arc that extends a very, very high distance, so keep that in mind. But the far side turret right here, I have set up to deal 2 million damage. On the left side of the screen, you can see the deflections of the modern Conqueror holes. I put them all here in a sort of easy to recognize, easy to find way. You'll notice the deflection on these is about 100,000 for most of them, some are as low as 55,000, some are as high as 275,000 in terms of deflection. Each of these holes has about 55 million hit points, and they will also have turret defense as well as evade applying to them on most base attackers. These deflections are here to show you what turrets are for dealing damage, how much of that damage they'll, they will actually do, and also showing the, you the utility of some turrets. Let's get into it. The first turret, the far side heavy cannon right here, is a great tier 9 ballistic cannon. It can deal about 2 million damage, give or take various percents on this. The specials that I have equipped on here are only two specials for this one. I have heavy ballistic shells right here, which increases ballistic accuracy, which is great because most enemies are running evade, and this is an accuracy based turret. It also increases projectile speed by 100%, which doesn't really matter because this is accuracy based. Ballistic damage is plus 85%, which is close to doubling, doubling your damage already. The next special is the supercharged EM Rails 3. This thing gives you a 10% chance at dealing double your damage, which is great. I would love to do double my damage, and this is an RNG factor, random number generation, helps you get lucky, helps you deal more damage. I noted I said I was only using two specials, that's because I am near my base power limit right here. This last special is a cadmium solar panels and gives you plus 200 more base power, which is sort of nice, so if you want, if you want to and you have the room, you can use something else such as priority targeting right here, which will increase your accuracy even more. Notice that did make my base power go up by using this thing, which is, you know, not ideal. This 40% accuracy is great and it also helps to target the lowest enemy health ship which again is, is a good thing because you want to stop Warhounds from dealing more damage, Trenchers from dealing more damage, and you do that by killing that. This 2 million damage you have right here will easily get through the deflection of any of these holes right here. 
Moving on to our next turret, this is the Mongoose Heavy Rockets. This is another tier 9 turret and is a splash based weapon, so projectile speed and splash are very very important for this thing. You can get it up to about 3 million damage, although it will never actually do that much because it will miss unless you have a very very direct shot on an enemy that has stopped moving. This thing is also a heavy limited turret, so you do have the HT Transformers. And by the way, on all these turrets, I'm using solar reinforcements for the armor because that does add plus 50% max base power, and I don't think any of the other armor blueprints right here, even Permacrete or the, let's say, Zen 3 reinforcements right here do nothing. Adding on 21,000 concussive deflection when my enemy is doing 1 million damage does basically nothing. In terms of specials, the first one right here is Heavy Ballistic Shells. Now this is not a ballistic turret, but I am using Heavy Ballistic Shells. This is to do plus 20%, this is only to do the plus 100% accuracy, which makes your weapon travel twice as fast, which is very very important for a long range splash based turret like this one, especially dumpfire ones like this one. So this first special is on here only for, for projectile speed. This is very important if you're dealing against an enemy which ever wants to move, which all attackers do. The next special right here is Eruption Pyre. This thing increases projectile speed slightly, as well as increases explosive reload and splash, all good things. Unfortunately, you do lose a little bit of explosive damage, about 15%, but that doesn't matter too much because you're getting a bunch of extra stats from this thing, and you're going over the concussive, you're going over the deflection of all the enemy holds anyway with this thing, so that's great. The last special right here is an explosive fuel tank right here, which increases splash as well as explosive damage. For this turret, you want to increase explosive damage, explosive reload, and projectile speed. That is the Mongoose Heavy Rockets. The next one is one that I'm actually starting to shift out of my base because I think the range on it is a little bit too low. This is the Hellmouth Heavy Thrower, another tier 9 thrower which was released at the same time as the Farsight Cannon. Keep in mind, this thing can actually shoot over mountains, which the previous two cannot, so maybe you can, you can do something interesting with that in your base. In terms of specials right here, you want to increase things like radioactive damage, splash, and radioactive reload. This is, again, another heavy turret, so I have the limited HT transformer on this thing. You can get this from the Forsaken Mission, among other places. My first special right here is the Radium Reserves. This thing increases your radioactive reload by 40%, which is the only reason I have it on here. Shockwave, Supercharge, all that does nothing on this radioactive turret. The next special is Xenthium Shells 2. This is to increase projectile speed and splash, both of which are fairly important for this thing. You could make an argument for using another splash splash special like concussive detonator right here which increases splash by 75 percent if you really wanted to i'm not aware that spread actually does anything on this particular turret actually it probably does because you have a 15 percent spread stat on the turret itself so there you go the next special right here is radioactive isotopes this increases projectile speed which is great radioactive accuracy which does nothing as this is not an accuracy based turret and also increases radioactive damage by 50 percent so there you go in this turret in general increasing projectile speed radioactive accuracy and radioactive reload is the name of the game it deals 800,000 damage which is enough to get through any radioactive deflections on this thing whatsoever Keep in mind that I am showing you the trencher here with just its base stats and no extra, re no extra deflections from it being stopped because the trencher does gain extra deflection when it is stopped. Keep that in mind. The next turret here is the last HT Transformer turret I am going to talk about. This is the Decimator Cannon. This thing deals 4 million damage, which is fantastic. It is very, very short range though, so that's why, and it is also fairly intensive in terms of power consumption. All of these HT Transformer turrets actually are. In terms of specials, you want to do everything you can to increase ballistic, to increase ballistic damage and accuracy. This first special is Heavy Ballistic Shells, we've already seen this multiple times, Incre increases ballistic accuracy and ballistic damage. Projectile speed does nothing important on this one whatsoever. The next one is the Supercharged Dingham Rails 3, which again adds a 10% chance at doing twice your, twice your damage in the form of a critical. Last one is Priority Targeting, this is done to increase accuracy and make sure turrets work better if an enemy is going to charge directly into them with a high evade, which most people are running on ships like Warhounds and Trenchers, even Hellswarms to some extent. 
If you don't go for this one, you could go for something else to increase ballistic damage slightly, and there are, are not a ton of great options for that. Maybe something else that increases ballistic reload if such a thing is, is useful to you. Although I think the plus 40% accuracy is great. If you are tight on power, you could do what I have done with the first turret and gone for a cadmium solar panels instead. Okay, now we have four utility type turrets that are not focused on dealing damage, but are focused on more utility. This first one is the Cryo Adder Strike. You'll notice that the damage right here says it's 109,000. That's actually slightly misleading. This has a base multi-shot on this turret, a base multi-shot of 5, meaning the damage right here has to be divided by 5 if you're actually comparing things. Notice that if I that this special right here does actually add plus 3 multi-shot, and how multi-shot works is that before you have 5 weapons that deal say 1000 damage, going plus 3 multi-shot now has 8 weapons that deal 1000 damage. This turret is not to deal damage because all these resists, all these deflections are very very high, and even if something does happen to get through, and there should be a minimum damage stat, even if something does get through, it you you're not going to do a great deal of damage to a hole with 800 with 85 million or 55 million hit points. This turret is primarily for the special ability. If you look at the very bottom of the special ability, you can see that the, that it deals minus 25% combat speed and minus 25% of each reload and minus 40% turn speed. This thing is going to hit the enemy ships and then slow them down and that's the purpose of this thing. There is also a tier 7 corrosive bonus, so if you are using several tier 7, if you're using four tier, up to four tier 7 corrosive turrets, they each deal 6.3% more damage. Something to keep in mind if we do have another turret group bonus damage coming up later in the game. Overall, this is not going to deal damage, so I have buffed projectile speed to help it hit more often, as well as reload, splash, and also multi-shots and more projectiles are actually fired. The next turret is a fairly similar one. This is the Drax Scatter 2. This thing can actually deal some damage to the correct holes here. You can see that it does have 225 damage, but there is also multi-shot, so keep that in mind. The damage is not really enough to get through most of these holes here. It can come close in many scenarios, but isn't quite that. It, it is okay, but is not the best turret out there, and you may even be better off just leaving this thing blank. It is also part of the tier 7 corrosive turret bonus group like the cryo adder strike was, so it can have that other damage bonus there. You do also have to add in the 10% fire support damage to the total final to the final damage calculation you actually run with. In terms of specials, I have heavy ballistic shells which deals more projectile speed. This special right here, Cost of Catalyst, that adds multi-shot and corrosive damage, and also Soulfly Deployer, Deployer, which increases splash and scattergun reload, which applies as this is a scattergun. The next turret here is a fairly interesting one. This is the Elite Countermeasure Turret. The goal for this turret is to buff accuracy as well as projectile speed. Enemy projectiles, especially from the new Hellswarm hole, have a very, very high projectile speed, so you need to have an equally high projectile speed to shoot these things to shoot these things down. This first special, we have seen it before, heavy ballistic shells, it adds plus 100% projectile speed. Next one is the countermeasure targeting, which adds 40% accuracy, which is good, as well as some range, which can be fairly nice. This last special I've gone for radioactive isotopes only for the plus 75% projectile speed. If you wanted to go for something else, you could go for some sort of accuracy boosting special, although again, projectile speed is very, very important for this countermeasure turret. The glacial turret is one that has been in the game for a very, very long time, since like tier 5. This is not for dealing damage, you can see it has 46,000 damage, which will do nothing to any of these holes right here. This is for the special effect. You have an ice field that will last for 30 seconds, and this ice field gives, your, gives the enemy ships minus 55% turn speed, also reduces their reload by 60%. This is a great thing to do and great thing to have in your base as a support turret. In terms of specials, I've gone for things that increase radioactive reload, projectile speed, and that's about it. This first one here, Radium Reserves, increases radioactive reload by 40%, which is what damage type this turret is, so that's great. 
The next one, we've seen this on pretty much every single turret, heavy ballistic shells, increases projectile speed by 100%. And the last one is the frontline platform. This is not on here for the deflections because 35,000 deflection means basically nothing when the enemy hole is doing 1 million damage. This is for the reload, just the radioactive reload plus 10% because it's better than nothing and you are already at so, so, so basically zero power, it doesn't matter too much. These are my turrets right here, and this is the last one I'm going to talk about. I have every single turret I'm not using and can't fit due to power with this design right here. If I were to clear this thing, notice that I get my base power goes down, and if I clear all my turrets like this, I would have no room, no base power left. I have three cadmium solar panels on here, and I also have three solar reinforcements. This is just to add more max maximum base power to my base. If I try and load something else, like another decimator can right here, I go over base power and I can't fit everything in, and that's not only standing the fact I don't even have another HT transformer. So all your turrets that you are not using, that you that you don't have anything on, build them like this, which will increase your base power even more. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, you can go ahead and leave a like on the video. Feel free to come back to this video anytime you want to understand what you, what you should put on a new turret, what kind of stats you should be buffing, or what build you should go for for these turrets. Anyway, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.